Lee, America Ferreira gave us one of the most inspiring monologues we've ever seen. She talked about how impossible it is to be a woman in today's society. She spoke for over two minutes without being interrupted by a single man saying things like, you have to be a boss, but you can't be mean. You have to be thin, but not too thin. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show up. Oh, sorry. Our male director is telling me that I need to wrap it up. <laughs> Here to present America with her, the See Her Award is the woman that she delivered that speech to. Please welcome Margot Robbie. Once again, the Critics' Choice Awards proudly joins forces with See Her, a global movement dedicated to the accurate portrayal of women and girls in media and entertainment. Tonight, we recognize the extraordinary America Ferreira with the eighth annual See Her Award. America is both my co-star and my friend, so I feel extremely qualified to tell you she is authentic in everything she does. On screen, she plays characters that defy stereotypes, push boundaries, and inspire the next generation to see themselves as they are. Off screen, she is remarkably grounded, surprisingly silly, seemingly unaffected by the talent she possesses, and always, always on the right side of a cause. In Real Women Have Curves, America gave voice to the universal truths of how young women struggle to love themselves and the guilt we all can feel when reaching for our dreams. In The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, she showed us the value of enduring friendship and how fucking hard it can be to get a pair of jeans that fit perfectly. As Ugly Betty, she blazed a trail for Latina actresses while teaching everyone we are so much more than what we think we are. For that role, America became not only the first Latina to win the Emmy for lead actress in a comedy, but still the only. First and only. I imagine being the first in any field can be isolating. I imagine it puts an enormous pressure on you to be perfect, to play it safe. But what I admire most about America is how she has handled that pressure while never being afraid to continue to speak the truth when it counts the most. When Greta Gerwig needed someone to talk about the true experience of what it's like to be a woman, there was one voice in her head. America gave our film a rallying cry filled with candor, vulnerability, and inspiration. She was speaking for every woman everywhere in a way that only America could. Every time I have been in a cinema when Barbie has played, the audience has erupted into applause after Gloria's monologue. Seriously. There are undoubtedly kids all over the world right now reciting that monologue in drama classes. And since opening weekend, the internet has been flooded with hundreds of thousands of social posts quoting her. Those words and her performance have had that much of an impact on the world. She is an artist and an activist. She tells us the truth and asks us to reach for something more in the world and in, us, in ourselves. She deserves to be celebrated, so please welcome the amazing America Ferreira. I'm just waiting for the teleprompter to show my speech. There it is. <laughs> Thank you so much to the Critics' Choice Association. Truly, your voices shape how people think about and value the stories we tell. I'm deeply thankful to you for this acknowledgement and this honor. Receiving the See Her Award for my contributions to more authentic portrayals of women and girls couldn't be more meaningful to me because I grew up as a first-generation Honduran-American girl in love 
with TV, film, and theater who desperately wanted to be a part of a storytelling legacy that I could not see myself reflected in. Of course, I could feel myself in characters who were strong and complex, but these characters rarely, if ever, looked like me. I yearned to see people like myself on screen as full humans. When I started working over 20 years ago, it seemed, that seems impossible, I know, but <laughs> it seemed impossible that anyone could make a career portraying fully dimensional Latina characters. But because, because of writers, directors, producers, and executives who were daring enough to rewrite outdated stories and to challenge deeply entrenched biases, I and, and some of my beloved Latina colleagues have been supremely blessed to bring to life some fierce and fantastic women. Uh, skip this part, I cut that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take it back. Um, that I and some, some of my beloved Latina sisters have had the chance, because of that, we have had the chance to bring through, through some deeply layered Latina characters and characters that I could not have seen growing up, but now I can see her. And I see her expanding in the next generation of talent, like my beloved Ariana Greenblatt, who plays my daughter in Barbie, and in Jenna Ortega, and in Selena Gomez, and in so many more out there. To me, this is the best and highest use of storytelling, to affirm one another's full humanity to uphold the truth that we are all worthy of being seen. Black, brown, indigenous, Asian, trans, disabled, any body type, any gender, we are all worthy of having our lives richly and authentically reflected. been so many people along my path who have truly seen me and who I would not be here without. So I have to thank Jody Peacock, Carrie Bilek, Kim Gillingham, Ali Trussman, and my wonderful team at CAA, and my incredible publicists, Molly Kawachi and Brianna Smith. I also know that I would not be standing here today now without Margot Robbie and Greta Gerwig. Margo, where'd you go? Margo, you saw value in Barbie, an entirely female idea that most would have dismissed as too girly, too frivolous, or just too problematic, but you had the courage and the vision to take it on. Thank you for gifting the world with Barbie. And Greta, Greta, I can't see you because the cameraman is standing right, and I can only see Ryan. There you are. Greta, thank you for proving through your incredible mastery as a filmmaker that women's stories have no difficulty achieving cinematic greatness and box office history at the same time. that unabashedly telling female stories does not diminish your powers, it expands them. Greta, your mind, your talent, your heart have inspired us all, and thank you for asking me to be your Gloria. Thank you to, thank you to our Kens, Noah Baumbach, Tom Ackerley, David Heyman, and Ryan Gosling for all being man enough to support women's work. You are all brilliant, and you are more than enough. Thank you to Pam Abdi, Mike DeLuca, Robbie Brenner, and the wonderful teams at Warner Brothers and Mattel for all of your support. And thank you to my husband, my husband Ryan, not Gosling, the other one. <laughs> El esposo de Gloria. Um, 
you see me and my dreams and you believe and support them as if they were your own. I love you. This is for every kid yearning to break in. I see you and you got this. Thank you. Good night.